So after a long uh, time, I had a decent kind of sleep for uh, closing to eight hours, so it's not too bad. Uh, and I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> the first day of classes at McGill Medical School and uh, it was a, a somewhat long day we had our we started at 8 30 in the morning and we had by the way as you can tell I just came from a gym it's about 8 45 p.m. it's at night um, it was a relatively long day so we started at 8 30 in the morning um, so for three hours we had lectures almost back to back and most of the, the theme today was mainly indigenous health in Canada and also global health uh, in the world and also in Canada. Um, so it was uh, those kinds of uh, subjects that we covered in those three hours of lectures. Lecture, then we had an hour for lunch. Um, so then we, it was followed by a three hour small group discussion. Um, and the main theme of the, that group was also uh, indigenous uh, populations in Canada and particularly in Quebec uh, so we had uh, also an indigenous um, nurse uh, there with us with also a psychiatrist uh, who works with the indigenous populations leading uh, and sharing the, the group discussion it was an absolutely uh, great um, discussion uh, there that was also followed by an hour of um, you know, talking to a one uh, R2 resident who also happens to be my friend. I didn't know he, he, he told me he's gonna be there, but he intentionally didn't tell me to surprise me. But so that was um, uh, very interesting. So we have to choose a group discussion, a, a group project um, that we have to work on uh, for the next month. Uh, so that all that is different from the other. There are so many groups uh, that you have to uh, take part in. Um, that is a bit confusing at the, at, you know, at the beginning. Um, so that's another project that we have to work on. So we were choosing the subject uh, and whatnot um, you know, for the quantile that we are in. So that went on until about, uh, yes, 4.30 in the evening. After that, there was the OAP or Open Air Pub, uh, which all of McGill, you know, whoever is a McGill student, uh, not, per, not specific to medicine or dentistry, so all McGill students, uh, young and old, they go to this event. Uh, so it started today, but it's gonna go on until, uh, I believe, September 7th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that was there. We also collected our um, wristbands for, uh, there is a common med slash law party this uh, Friday, if I'm not mistaken. So we also collected that to go and uh, say hi to everyone at the party later on. So that was interesting. I, I unfortunately had to uh, leave early because um, I was fully dressed, like uh, I, you know, with, with long trousers and a shirt. And it's, it's Montreal summers are really good, so the weather was a bit overwhelming for me uh, to enjoy myself and so i had to leave earlier so tomorrow i'm just gonna dress completely differently because the weather is perfect here and um, to enjoy more of the uh, oap so that is, that sums up the first day and uh, we have a lot of required readings to do uh, which actually i spent quite a bit of my lunch time reading the material uh, i have more material to read for today and also for, for tomorrow so uh, I finished gym earlier than usual. It's getting a bit darker uh, as well. So it's only, it's not even nine yet and it's almost pitch, pitch black. So um, yes, the games begin. And the gym also, after, oh, I want to mention, closes a bit earlier because the new semester hasn't started yet officially per se. Um, so the gym closes at 8.30. So, uh, Normally, I used to go in the mornings to the gym, but I think I'm going to be tired to go in the mornings to be able to focus during the day. So I'm trying to uh, change my timeline as well. A lot of changes are happening, and the speed that things are going at are, uh, you know, you, 
we didn't even realize and then suddenly it was 4 30 p.m and we started 8 30. now this is not the longest day by any measure i've had much longer days uh, including labs and whatnot but uh, it, my point is it goes so fast uh, and a lot of registrations with different bodies that you have to do whatnot um, a, a lot of different and new systems to get used to as well so all in all very exciting times guys so I'll uh, keep you guys posted you know with the uh, what what happens uh, during the rest of the week and uh... there is not much update to give on day two uh, we had three hours of lecture in the morning again starting at 8 30 in the morning till uh, well 11 30. Uh, so the first hour was talking about the project that we have to do. Uh, the second hour was about improving health and you know, on a global uh, public health from a uh, public health perspective. And the, the third hour uh, was from a professor, uh, you know, from the, de 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 from dentistry, and it was one of the most amazing lectures I've ever had. Uh, such an enthusiastic prof. A uh, very interesting person, very, um, you know, applicable advice to life. And uh, I just enjoyed the time. It didn't even feel like, you know, it was an hour. It was so interesting. So after that, uh, we had three hours of self-study time uh, to study some required uh, text. However, I have to confess, I spent the whole time uh, working on uploading the videos of Make Mad Life um, to make you know to get the ball rolling so I uploaded the first um, orient well the day zero or orientations and the frosh and the introduction uh, as um, that that I recorded mostly last week uh, so that was that uh, so I have to make up those three hours of study time and also prepare for the lectures tomorrow as well uh, so that's it tomorrow is going to be a long day and i'll um, i'll update accordingly uh, start of day three so going to lectures uh, in the morning then it's followed by a lot of activities in the evening we're going to finish around uh, 4 30 if i'm not mistaken then i have a general conference a general surgery conference to go to at the hospital that I signed up for a while ago. Also, there is a uh, there's a concert later on tonight that if I have the chance, I'll go. If I, uh, depending on what time everything finishes. How cool is this?